Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, if you've been guided to this video today, it's going to be a general daily reading for all signs. And uh, the idea here is that you're going to pick which deck you are drawn to. So we have the Wisdom Seekers Tarot, we have the Tree Magic Oracle cards, and we have Heart and Soul Angel cards. So, um, what I would like you to do is just focus on the cards and see which ones you're drawn to and then just ask the cards what message do they have for you today that will be for your highest good and then I will proceed then and I will take one card from the Wisdom Seekers one card from the True Magic and one card from the Heart and Soul Angel and that will be your message for today. And I will also time stamp the video so you know when they, you can push on ahead to your deck and your message. Okay, so for those of you who have chose the Wisdom Seekers Tarot, this deck is designed for uh, cards and techniques for self-discovery and positive change. And um, the, me the card that we've gotten is Justice. So the message from the book for Justice is... In the tarot, justice is always shown as a woman following the, the tradition of the ancient Greeks for whom Themis was the goddess of justice. Her sword traditionally represents a spiritual power that divides heaven and earth. The guards that guards the gateway to the Garden of Eden. While her scales in many cultures are a symbol for the weighing of the good deeds against the bad, at the moment of judgment in the afterlife. Justice wears the red robe of worldly power. Her sword is ready to cut through the ignorance that impedes her from reaching spiritual enlightenment. While her scales help her to weigh the value of all things and maintain the balance between the material and the spiritual, when you work with this card, ask yourself, am I using my inner judgment to guide me on my journey of self-realization? If not, what prevents me from doing so? By examining your integrity and weighing the pros and cons of your actions, you can try to attain perfect equilibrium in your own life. So that's a beautiful message today for all of you who have went uh, and been guided to this deck. Um, I hope this message helps in some way uh, today and uh, you reflect on the, the message contained within it to help you grow and create positive change in your lives. So have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. So this is the card that has come out for those of you who have chosen the Oracle Tree Magic card and also just um, when I pause the video to do the next card uh, it stopped at tree dot tree tree so uh, look up the meaning of the angel number tree 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 and that will have an additional message for you today so the the card says fruitful long lasting success is certain bringing union partnership harmony a meeting and a love match Wow. So the pear tree represents good relationships and it's number nine in this deck. So the message then from the book reads, The pear tree's pretty white blossom of spring offers a flowering of your hopes and wishes, especially those of a feminine nature. The shape of the pear fruit symbolizes femininity and partnership. You have a love relationship or close friendship that has the potential to bloom into a fruitful partnership. You will surely receive a love token from someone offering consistency, promising new seeds created from past endeavours will continue to grow from the fruit of expectancy. 
a partnership that you have now or an ambition to achieve something enduring will stand the test of time. Pleasure shared is pleasure doubled. Pear trees live to be very old, so your happiness continues. So that's a very beautiful message for you today. And um, I'd love to hear in the comments if you do receive some gesture or, or token of gratitude and love from somebody today or if the card resonates in any other way with you. Uh, and, I hope, and I wish you all the success in the world and I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. So this message is for the those of you who, who have picked Heart and Soul Angel card. Now I will have to remove this because um as you'll be able to see here the book is actually attached to uh where the cards come from so I will be taking this to read the message. So the card that we have gotten from you, for you. So this is the card I have chosen for you. Um, or the, when I shuffle, this is the card that came out. Not that I've chosen for you. This is the card that was chosen for you. So the Mirabel, guardian angel of two moons. The card of cleansing, purifying healing heart and soul so i'm just going to find the message here in the book attached to the card so once earth had two moons but was destroyed in in ancient wars though this second moon is now invisible her energy endures mirabel restores the balance and silver blue violet power of the last moon helping helping to redress the feminine or the goddess energy of this planet. When Mirabel's two moons are full, they are the eyes of the heaven and also of Thunderbird and connect your own third eye. Ask Mirabel if you may link to this power to see things more clearly through the veils between the worlds that cloud your sense of judgment. You can then perceive your own soul purpose involving silver, involving silver violet, which is a spiritual feminine energy balance at individual, planetary or even universal levels. On the seventh day after a new moon, seven, seventh moon. So we just had a new moon on the 16th and I did do a new moon energies reading. So this, uh, I done it for air, water, earth and fire elements. Uh, so whichever your sun sign falls under, you can also check out your rising and moon signs in those videos um, on my on my channel. And that there could be extra messages in those videos for you today. And this is quite uh, in sync uh, and speaks about the seventh day after the the new moon. From okay, so uh, Mirabel offers you the double crescent grail of two moons. From this whole grail, whole grail flows infinite silver blue violet radiance that cleanses and purifies both heart and soul of negative energy, and aids. Retrieval of lost soul fragments to bring back wholeness. When heart and soul are healed by this gentle radiance, Mirabel says that if you so choose, you can create a mirror image grail within your own heart, from which spiritual blue, violet, angelic light essence pours to both heal and rebalance others' hearts and souls. So that's a beautiful message today um, and I certainly will be taking on this message today because I was drawn to this deck as well. So I hope you would take uh, something from this message uh, and it benefits you throughout your day and over the coming days and watch your energies over um, Monday, Tuesday, 
when say up until about next week so uh the moon energy is usually last three three to four days before and after so this is saying there's energy still around on the up to the seventh day which is next sunday um so really maybe listen to this message again on sunday So I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.